Hi, I'm Daniel Kirk, children's book author and illustrator, and I'm here in Africa doing research on my new book called Rhino in the House. This is the true story of a woman named Anna Mertz, who came to Africa to build a special place called a sanctuary to save rhinos from hunters and poachers. It's also the story about a special rhino named Samia, an orphan that Anna raised from a baby. It's the story of the special friendship between a woman and a rhino and how it changed both of their lives forever. When Anna Mertz came to Kenya with her husband in 1976, she discovered that rhinos in Africa were in terrible trouble. Anna found a large tract of land to create a safe space for rhinos, and she worked out a deal with cattle rancher David Craig to use 5,000 acres as a sanctuary. She hired workers to build an eight-foot fence. The first rhinos arrived at Lewa Downs in 1984, and one day Anna discovered a baby rhino that had been abandoned by its mother. If Anna didn't try to save the baby, there was no way it would survive. Anna took the baby rhino back to her home. She named it Samia. Anna didn't know what kind of milk baby rhinos needed, and it took a while to figure out how to keep Samia alive. The poor little rhino slept in bed with Anna at night so that she'd feel safe and warm. But before long, Samia was a happy and healthy little rhino, and she followed Anna around the house like a new puppy. Anna and Samia were friends. But Samia was a rhino, after all, deserving a natural life in the wild. Anna didn't want her to become just a pet. Anna took Samia for long walks in the sanctuary so she'd get used to the place where she would one day live. And Anna learned things about rhinos that no one had ever known before. By listening carefully, she discovered what the sounds Samia made were meant to communicate. Samia grew bigger, and her walks with Anna grew longer. Soon, Samia was old enough to live on the plains with the other rhinos. But Samia still liked to visit Anna at home, even when she got so big that she became stuck in a doorway and needed some help getting out of trouble. All animals need a home, a safe place, and Anna was able to give that to Samia, as well as to many other rhinos on the sanctuary. The special friendship of Anna Mertz and this rhino named Samia has taught us much about what it will take to save endangered animals for the future. Thanks for coming along to meet Anna and Samia and to get a little taste of life in Africa. I hope you get a chance to read my new book, Rhino in the House.